Hey guys, Tasha here from Start a School Crochet. This week we're exploring the peak stitch and I'm using a worsted weight yarn, it's by Lion Brand, and a six hook, which is a J hook. And we're going to start off doing a foundation half double crochet row, but you can work chains and then work into the third chain. It's up to you. So go ahead and make a slip knot and organize my yarn. Get a little bit closer and then we're going to chain three. The first stitch of a foundation goes into the very first stitch or chain. So we're doing a half double crochet so you yarn over first. Then you're going to yarn over and pull up one loop. Grab onto the two bottoms, yarn over, and pull through all three. Then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the bottom two loops of that chain, yarn over and pull up one, yarn over and chain through one, and then yarn over to complete your half double crochet and pull through all three. The bottom two loops can be a little squirrely sometimes. So if you go through all three, then um, it creates a gap. So you have to make sure you go through the bottom two loops of that chain. Yarn over, pull up one. Yarn over and pull through one. Yarn over and pull through all three. And there's your half double crochets. Foundation row. So keep working those until you reach your desired length. So here I just have a few we're going to work on row two, which is the repeat row for the entire pattern. So we're going to chain three. And then you're going to turn your work. You're going to work your first half double crochet into the base of your turning chain. So you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and complete your half double crochet. The second stitch and subsequent stitches are the peak stitch. So yarn over. You're going into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through just one. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through the rest of the loops on the hook. And that repeats for the entire row so you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, insert in the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, so yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Three times a charm. Remember you're pulling through just two at first, yarning over, inserting it back, and then you're going to just pull through one and then you're going to complete your stitch by pulling through all of them. And I think I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. And then when we get to the end of the row, we're going to work the last peak stitch into the very last half double crochet. Okay, so here we're at the last stitch of the row. You're going to work into the, uh, the peak stitch into that half double crochet and they like to hide so don't forget that last double crochet and remember to count your stitches. And the rest of the pattern is just a repeat of row two. My yarn is not cooperating with me today. So there you have your foundation row and also number row two. And here you just turn your work. I made a mistake there. That should have been a half double crochet. All right, so that's the stitch and you can work it vertical. It works great looking vertical too. This is where it's worked into the back loop only. So I just pulled up that little back loop and you can see it makes a nice ridge in the front. It's a really pretty stitch. All right, well there it is. There's the swatch. See, vertically it looks good too. So you can probably make cardigans with it. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit that little bell.
so you can get notified for all the Stitch Explorer tutorials. Thanks guys. Oh, and this will be written pattern on my blog.